everyone, it's your girl, Brianna Blair, better known as Bay Charles, the exotic blind dancer. And I've been kicking it today with my boy, Anthony Parker on the Third Eye Vision. That's right, we're on live. We're gonna get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Visually impaired New Yorkers find a better way around the city. There's a pilot program launched by the Brooklyn Borough President that's going to allow several local organizations to test what is being called the cane of the future. Pix11 Joe Masiri has more on this story for us tonight. Gus Chalkius is visually impaired and knows what it's like to try and get around New York City on his own. It's very stressful. Little things that people with sight take for granted, like finding the front door of a new location, no can cause a lot of anxiety for people like Gus. Most GPSs will get me within like maybe 15, 20 feet, but they won't get me to the door. So finding that front door is really, is really uh, stress inducing sometimes. But new technology hopes to make the world safer and less stressful for the visually impaired by bringing technology to the traditional cane. It was an eight track model in an iPhone age. We have finally caught up to the technology and now those visually impaired can use the technology to access information. Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams announced a new partnership with the company WeWalk and tested their smart cane at Brooklyn Borough Hall Tuesday afternoon. The cane includes a compass, accelerometer and gyroscope to help navigate. While traditional canes only help avoid objects on the ground, the WeWalk Smart Cane detects overhead obstacles using the ultrasonic pulse and lets a person know using small vibrations. Tree branches, for example, I bump into them all the time. So it may, it'll be nice to get that, that feedback if, if, um, yeah, if it reads it in time, because then I can swoop out of the way. The cane also pairs with smartphones, which will allow for integration with apps, and it has a microphone and speaker to allow for voice commands. What is the best restaurant in New York, Brooklyn? We will see. <laughs> Here are a few top rated restaurants in New York, Brooklyn. One. In all, the BP issued a grant to purchase 16 canes, half of which were donated by the company YGA, which developed the technology in Turkey. Over the next three months, employees with the MTA and clients of the Helen Keller Services for the Blind and Lighthouse Guild will test the canes around New York City. The additional information that this device is going to be is going to offer me, I hope it'll make the, the experience different. And maybe one day getting around the city won't be any more stressful than it is for the rest of us.